Yeah, that's right. The commissioner and the mayor appeared at a previously scheduled crime walk tonight in northeast Baltimore. They say despite 16 murders already this year, they will not change their plan to try and cut down on violence in Baltimore City. The community walk in northeast Baltimore comes in the midst of a spasm of violence affecting neighborhoods all around Baltimore City. We've seen a lot of random violence uh, in the beginning of the year, and we certainly um, had hoped uh, that the year would start off better. But Mayor Rawlings Blake said even 16 murders in the first 12 days of the year is not enough to shake her confidence in the plan she and the police commissioner say they have. What we know works is focusing on violent offenders and working in partnership with the community and that's what we're doing this evening. Shortly before the walk, there was another shooting in Baltimore City, this time in West Baltimore on Mount Street, just south of North Avenue. The victim is expected to survive. Police have no suspects. And, in fact, they have made no arrests in any of the 16 murders so far in 2014. But one of the suspects, Robert Hopkins, killed himself, police say, after killing another man in a carjacking last week. Tonight, the commissioner said he expects investigators to be able to connect Hopkins to many other crimes, but he did not specify which ones. That man was a one-man wrecking crew for the city as a whole. I think what, you're, what we're going to see as we lock it down is that he did a lot of violence out here on the city streets. The two most recent fatal shootings in Baltimore City happened last night, of course, two days after Hopkins killed himself. Police were out in the neighborhoods where those shooting happens today, asking people to come forward with information. Live in downtown Baltimore, Christian Schaefer, ABC2 News.